Hi everyone, welcome back. Today I'll show you how to fix the display driver failed to start error on your Windows PC. I'll be sharing a few methods so make sure to watch closely. First, let's start with the basic fix. So try restarting your graphic driver. To do this, hold Ctrl plus Shift plus Windows key and then press B. This will restart and refresh your graphic driver. Now check the issue. If that doesn't work, here's the second method. Right click on this PC and select manage. Go to device manager and find display adapters. Right click on your graphic driver and choose properties. If you encountered this issue after a driver update, go to the driver tab and click roll back driver. This will revert to the previous version of the driver, which might fix the issue. Only do this if the error appeared after an update. If this method doesn't help, try the next one. Go to start and type adjust the appearance. Click on adjust the appearance and performance of windows. Choose adjust for best performance. Then click apply and ok. Lastly, another useful solution is to update the graphics driver and other important drivers on your computer. To update the drivers, you can go to device manager and update the drivers one by one. But this method can take too much time and effort. There's an easier way to keep your drivers up to date quickly by using driver updater software. I'm demonstrating with the reliable advanced driver updater. If you want to use the same, you can click on the link given in the description. Advanced driver updater automatically scans your system for outdated drivers and updates them with just one click. It ensures your display drivers and all other drivers are always up to date, saving you time and effort. Here is how it works. Download and install Advanced Driver Updater from the link in the description. Open the software and click Start Scan to scan your system for outdated drivers. Once the scan is complete, you'll see a list of outdated drivers. Click Update All to update all the drivers at once or select specific drivers to update individually. If none of these methods work, go to settings and select update and security. Click check for updates and install the latest updates for Windows. This should resolve the issue. One of these solutions should work for you. Let me know in the comments which method helped. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.